We hope you enjoyed the Dirty Jobs Lab. Let's take a look at some of the concepts you learned. You now know there are two different types of resources, renewable and non-renewable. Let's explore each one a little more. A renewable resource is something that can be reproduced or replenished by nature over time. These resources will be around long after we and our children and grandchildren are gone. One good example of a renewable resource is food. If the conditions are right, we can grow fruit and vegetables, as well as raise animals to sustain our food supply. Water can also be seen as a renewable resource if the use, treatment, and release are monitored. Otherwise, it would become a non-renewable resource. Water is used for energy, sewage, and most importantly, drinking. So keeping this resource renewable is very important. Now let's talk about non-renewable resources. These resources are things that we use often and abundantly, but of which we have a limited supply. A great example of this is petroleum and other fossil fuels. Earth only has so much naturally occurring oil and fossil fuels for us to use as gasoline and diesel for our vehicles. Once the supply in the ground is used up, we either have to create these fuels artificially or find a different energy source. This is why many scientists keep experimenting with solar, nuclear, and hydroelectric energy. Another example of a non-renewable resource is metal like steel or platinum. These metals make up almost every appliance and gadget that we use on a daily basis. Every metal that we use on Earth has a finite supply and we must use these supplies very wisely. Thanks for watching. Next time you go to a gas station or see a farm, think about the resources of each and whether or not they are renewable.